Now let's cover child CPR. A few things we should be thinking about when we're talking about child CPR. The guidelines help us understand the child range is between year one and their first signs of puberty. There is this age, it's like 14, but you know, there's a lot of ambiguity between when does a child become an adult and when is an adult the size of a child. I personally like to go by the size of the patient. And in this case, he is clearly somewhere between the ages of one and 12, which is well within our safety range of a child. And we're gonna use that as our guideline for doing CPR. Secondly, when we do the depth of the compression on a child, it's one third the depth of the chest. So just something to keep in mind here as we're doing CPR for the child. Now in this situation, we had a player on the soccer field and they suddenly collapsed. We don't know why. And so we're going to assess them, but we also need to think about, were they electrocuted? Did they step on a bare wire? Was there a snake? I mean, who knows? We're just gonna look for anything. So ensure scene is safe. My gloves are on, my CPR shield is available, so now I'm safe to rescue. Now we're also gonna be talking about what the first step is. Hand on the forehead to remind me not to move their head or neck excessively as I tap on the collarbone. Hey buddy, are you all right? Are you okay? This player does not respond. Once there is no response to my taps and shouts and I notice that they are not breathing normally, it's automatically gonna be a 911 call. You in the plaid shirt, go call 911 and come back. I might need your help. And if you can find an AED, bring an AED with you. If I don't have anybody to go call 911 or get an AED, I'm gonna dial 911 on my cell phone and I'm gonna put it on speakerphone so that dispatchers can help coach me through this scene. Now, we get right into our action. I'm gonna place, in this case, for the size of the patient, one palm of one hand. If this was a large child or at the upper end of the child becoming an adult, we would treat them as an adult with two hand CPR. But this child is adequate with one. I'm gonna place the palm of my hand on the center of his chest, on the lower third of his sternum between the breasts. I'm now gonna start my compressions to one third the depth of the chest in depth and at a rate of between 100 and 120 times per minute. That's at least two a second. Here we go. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and 10, 11 and 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I'm gonna now give a head tilt chin lift, get my mask and shield with the one-way valve, pinch the nose and open the mouth. I'm gonna give my two rescue breaths. Two rescue breaths go in, I go back into my compressions. One and two and three and four and five, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I now give my two more rescue breaths and I'm gonna do this 30 compression to two rescue breaths until help arrives, EMS arrives, and AED arrives or my patient actually revives, starts breathing and moving on their own. 